Um, hi everyone. Um, long time no see. Uh, just kind of been busy. Stuff happening. And gave it up for a while, like last winter. Um, it's kind of been a difficult year, but I think we're getting back on track. Um, as you can see here, I'm in some cloud field. Um, I'm getting a bit of sewing done. I'm just down checking. Till that. Yep. Okay, one second, let's see if I can turn this camera around. No, excuse the face. Okay, so here's the till depth. Lovely seabed. Really, really nice, fine seabed. Really well ploughed. And look at you. I'll show you my boot. You see a seed coming up. But if you get a start, start digging. You can see the seed there. Roughly two inches, one and a half to two inches. So, uh, yeah, um, my my seven two four is a little sick at the moment. Um, there's an oil leak on it, and it had to go into Fent Atkins in uh, in in Offaly because the only way to get the oil leak is with tab. So we've had a tractor hired in here for the last three months, and it's had to do it out. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you what we're sewing with. We've got the hair. So this is my sewing rig for the season. Hopefully I get my 74 back soon. So we've had this Case Puma 165 hired in for the last uh, couple of months. Anybody who uh, follows me on Instagram at Dane's Farming would have seen it, um, but it is only just been swaying through there in the last few days. I also bought this Heva from Press because the vent was just too light for the drill. Had a, an old press with six 50 kilo weights on it, trying to hold it, put the tractor down. And then just wasn't good for it or the soil. So today we're not actually using the paddles, we're only just rolling ahead of the drill. But um, yeah, so we're sewing TARDIS for a customer here. Um, we actually only just finished up the last silage uh, this morning, so uh, we're not going to do badly. Drill yesterday morning, and now we're sewing today, so I still has all this paint. But uh, so far, it's good, it's not the fend. You know that there's 80 horsepower or 75 horsepower difference, but all the same, it's still a very good tractor, very comfortable, very nice. I'll, uh, I'll give you a tour of the cab in a few minutes. I mean, you're going to excuse the mess. Here we are in the cab of the 165 case, um, very, very high interior. You can see the leather steering wheel, a very high quality, high spec, high spec. We have the screen, oh, there's the phone charger, take that out of there. Screen. We have four spools. This is controls front links. A bit fast in the drop there, but anyway. Um, this is our multi-function control lever, and then all our options here, and then this is the uh, the, the control box for the seat, and then your four-wheel or your PTO passenger seat. Um, carpet was actually, we had the plastic on it up until uh, the other night I was sewing and uh, one of the lads got in and put his foot on the exhaust brake and uh, we couldn't figure out why the tractor wasn't working and he had the ring could be far along at uh, half seven at night to try and figure out and then we got out to investigate and your man took his foot off and the tractor went to Wayne no water. Um, here's the Wayne scales for the one pass and then the one pass here behind me so uh, we're getting them quite well. Um, so here's my headline management button. So I have it set that it lift the front. 1.5 seconds later, it lift the back. And turn off the PTO and lift the scribe. I press the button again, it lets down the back, turns on the PTO, lets down the front, and it then lets down the scribe. So uh, it's a pretty good setup. Really nice tractor. Um, let's see here, it's only on 406. So we are over the hours we were allocated on the higher. But uh, they just pay that and keep going. Not much we can do when the track when my tractor's uh, sick. The reason we're sewing with this and not the 6490 Massey is because the front links 6490 won't actually lift. Well, it'll lift it, but it just won't lift it fast enough. That makes sense. After an hour or so, the oil gets hot and it just won't lift the front. So it's not quite big enough. But sure, look, we'll sew away with this for a while. You can see here, where's my finger gone? There. 
with an error code showing up and it's just simply um, there's a little wire on the front for the buttons for controlling the front links and they've uh, that wire got pulled somehow and it's just given out to me they've ordered a new one or I was on the Cooney for long they've ordered a new one they said it'll be out on Monday today it's Friday so look, I'm gonna go sew a bit and catch up with you in a while there's 649 just finishing off the headland we're just plowing a headland here now we're sewing headlands in the last field this evening 649 get the plow and he's done and I just have my lights off so that I don't cut the eyes out of him and lights on great set of lights in this tractor to be fair is he waiting to talk to me now? I don't think so no he's falling up to go home talk to him in Back out the next morning, excuse the mess of the PCB. Um, that's the last of the uh, seed for this year. Sorry, just uh, picking up a bag. Uh, there's the combine, there's next year's seed. And uh, if I remember later, I'll show you the little mice screechers we have. They're, they're supposed to be harmless, but they're not a high pitched squeal that the mice don't like. Um, hopefully, to keep them away from my combine. Yeah, so uh, we, we're, we split about 60% cassia, 40%, no, about 65% cassia, 35% tardis. Um, so we have all the cassia in, all the cassia was whole seed seed and the tardis we had to buy in. That's the 165. I'm sure if I don't open it. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to throw two bags in and then JCB is going to load and dung because we're still in the uh, Take her for dung for another week or so. Um, actually, today's only today's the 13th or 14th of, of October. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we want to try and get the last of barley in. We're down to about 50 acres of barley. So, we're making good progress. Um, and then it's just a bit of contracting and some oats. So, hopefully, within the next week, 10 days, we'll be wrapped up with the plowing and sowing um, and the dung. JCB needs a wash, it was on the side a bit there the last couple of days and now it's going to load and dung so we'll get a wash down, clean down and all that um, next week I'm going to throw this bag of seed in I thought you had them in the field so we're just after having a good bit of rain well no sorry, we had a good bit of rain there about an hour ago so we delayed play um, there's the tractor and plow um, Usually the plough would be a good bit ahead of me, but because of the rain for Casper today, I'm going to say right up against him. Um, so he is just there, plowing away. Um, it's a reasonably small field with a lot of weeds in it, unfortunately. Chiefs mm. don't look at my back window. <clears throat> Sorry, you probably can't hear me. Um, so yeah, so there's about five acres, four, four and a half, five acres in this field. Um, we'll. Uh, Tip away, plow and sow, see if we can get done before the rain. Um, there's another field down above it, uh, has eight acres in it. And then another field down the road has four acres in it. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll potter on anyway and see how we get on. Um, I will easily catch up on them because the uh, plow is only about eight foot wide, whereas I am 10 foot wide. So covering a lot more ground. But anyway, let's come back in. Part, parts of this case I love, parts I hate. The one thing I do miss though is with the masses, you can go up and down through the gears here. Whereas it all has to be done here. However, with the fent, I miss the big joystick because you can just keep jabbing it forwards or hit it sideways to your preset cruise control. But um, that's a really nice track though, all the same. Okay. I'll catch up with you in another while. Sun's shining now. Everything looks good.
last several months I've somehow managed to lose my GoPro, so I'm just using my phone at the moment until I can get around to getting another GoPro. But at the moment, we're using around 30 litres an hour on diesel. Um, this tractor was working out slightly harder than the 724 on diesel, but I just simply put that down to the fact the 724 has 240 horsepower versus this is only 165. Um, you know, so that would make a difference. kilometers an hour because that's roughly the speed we plow at. We just go over and back. <laughs> now it wasn't a very good image because of the dirty window. I don't know if you heard the bang there, the it just went up over a stone. That wasn't anything worth worrying about. I don't know, getting all well. So I want 13 stone to the acre. Everything going quite nice. <clears throat> just keeping the pressure on um, more down to the weather isn't it crazy how an hour ago it was actually spilling out of the heavens um, and I wasn't even sure we were going to get that on its own today and now look it's absolutely beautiful and an awful lot of uh, weeds came up so we spra sprayed us off usually we try to avoid off spraying we tried to avoid spraying off fields but just with the weather the way it was we just said we had to but um yeah keep going okay so we're after uh so we're finished the inside the field here um so we're just uh tom's just gone up the uh ramp there to start plowing the next field uh, i can't really saw this part because it's part of the headland um there's the drill again Amazing about outfit, but I do miss the 74. But anyway, we won't let Tom get too far ahead of us. Yeah. Tilling up fairly well. It's going up fairly well. Okay, so I'm just plowing up a headland here. Take for now, but I just want to show you this. Clean your boots. Clean your boots. Spade holder. Oh. Daddy made them for all the tractors so we don't have to be carrying spades in the cab. Now we are carrying a few bits. Um, just as the way things went today. Normally we wouldn't. So we're just down Edland here. You can see Daddy going one way from the waterfall. He's over that far ditch. Um, he'll take over this for me in a few minutes. Uh, just uh, the way things worked out. Um, but I just wanted to say, I mentioned the uh, Ford reverse shuttle here. I can go up here, down here, like that. And flip back in reverse. Just, I do think that in a mass he's unbeatable. But yeah, so we're just uh, plowing here. As you can see, ground is a little sticky. We keep getting showers of rain, so we're trying to keep the one pass as close to the plow as possible. But just with the headlands, it's hard done. Um, I don't know. Not too badly. Okay, so we're just back in the yard here, loading up the seed. Uh, JCP's away loading dung, so uh, we're uh, using this. Uh, there will be any butter at all on it. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I can undo this. There's a bit of seed left in it, but I had to come home and uh, my place apart. So I just, geez, you can't see any more my hand. So I just said I put up when I was here, and it should finish out the job. I mean, I have to job the, the block we're in. <sighs> Again, the 
sobriety is the hardest. Okay, uh, it was really windy, I was having trouble making some of the bags. Sorry, getting away with those right bikes. Um, so while we're heading down our road lane here, instead of, uh, our, yeah, I'm not on the road, basically. Um, so, before I get on the road, uh, yeah, so we're somewhat TARDIS, and usually we tow around 11 stone an acre, but just, uh, and this is not being after the ideal, I'm putting it in at 13. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're getting on reasonably well. Um, so we usually sell home say seed at 13 stone and bought in seed at 11 stone, just because of the cost of it. And I suppose it all depends then again on uh, 1,000 grain weight and germination, but uh, as a general rule. So yeah, so we're dipping away, getting on all right. Um, my father brought on the second plow, uh, but uh, when, uh, when we were, sorry, when we were down, uh, Sorry, smell the rent lane. Uh, when we were down a, a driver, we um, he uh, left off the second plow and took over the five four for me, and I went home to get the part of the plow. And uh, he um, he went uh, went on plowing with that. So we're hoping to get this job done tonight in the next hour or two, and then we'll uh, call it night. Or call it, yeah, call it a weekend, because today's Saturday. Okay, catch in the field. So it's still sowing, so dipping away. We're in the smaller field here. It's um, half six at night. Ten, seven at night, sorry. Um, and when we get this field out of it, um, I'll probably call it night. Um, I'll be back at it Monday morning. Uh, tomorrow is to be wet. Um, we're not getting as much rolling done as we'd like, or as much fertilizer or spray out but there's not a huge amount we can do about it um but yeah look i'm gonna end this video here uh, i don't want it to be too long or too short but first one back in a while um hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you next time